Good morning, everybody. So, Cal Saber, Bill Thornton here, and it is time for our monthly wrap up. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to stop for stopping by. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, and uh, I hope you're planning a joyous and safe New Year's. You know, you'll hear what you like, or what, hear something you like, go down there and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Push it out in your social media channels so we can get the channel growing again. It's been kind of slow moving lately. I don't know why. Maybe I, I'm coming to the end of my growth in the channel, but that's okay. If it is, I'll, I'll live with it. Uh, you know, if there's anything you'd like me to do or take a look at, please put it in the remarks section down here so I can consider it. Uh, I haven't had any requests for a couple months now. And so what did we do in, what did I do in December? The games that I played, Holland 44, I think you guys, if you looked, you probably saw a couple of videos that I did after action reports on that one. Good game, takes a long time, and it's fairly good size, but I'm lucky enough to have a table that can not only uh, accommodate a large game, but also hide it by sliding the tops back and forth across the top of it. So... That was fun. And then I finished up Stratomatic Basketball's time on the table with the video. Had a game day early in September on one on the second Saturday, or December, September, yeah, December, the second Saturday. We had about five people show up. We started off by playing one of the simpler games, easier to learn games, King of Tokyo, because my eight-year-old granddaughter wanted to play a game with the big people. So she got in there, she learned it, she learned it quickly, and she had a good time. Uh, then we played Catan, because that's what my daughter picked out she wanted to play. So we played Catan, and uh, Catan was my son-in-law, Nick, beat us up on that one. And then we fi finished the game day up with Abyss, with just the core game. I don't know if any of you saw that video about the Leviathan expansion that I really wanted to use that came in French. And believe it or not, I cannot find out how to contact the developers or anything on that one. So, so be it. I'm still going to look like, if you have nowhere to find Le the Leviathan expansion in English, please drop a line down in the remarks for help me out here. Okay, then uh, I have Inside Blitz. It's still on the table. It's on a slowdown now because of the holidays. It's hidden up because of the, to the tabletop covers. But... Uh, <clears throat> I am going to continue playing it. I didn't put a video out on it, but I didn't like it, it too much, and I will put out another video or two on Inside Blitz because there's a lot of things, especially in the third and fourth quarters, that I did not explain to you. And I think that I owe you another one with a little bit more uh, definition of the game mechanisms. So stand by for that. Field Commander Napoleon. It's still on the table. I'm doing the 1796 scenario. It's on a pause for Christmas and New Year's also. And uh, I did a video on that, and I will be doing more videos on that. And then just yesterday, my 16-year-old grandson, Nick, was over, and we played two scenarios of Memoir 44. And he really likes this game. I like it too, but I was surprised. He said, well, let's leave it set up. Maybe we'll play a third. But we never got around to playing a third because we got preoccupied with other things, on TV and then on the Xbox. So that was my gaming and then in the videos, beside the ones that I uh, talked about already, like Holland, Stratomatic, and Field Commander, <clears throat> Napoleon, and Inside Blitz, I also did a uh, sports and trouble game or a video when uh, for the major sports and how they're hand dealing with uh, the COVID, rising COVID, and and so forth, and how they're trying to make changes to their policies and how some of the Canadian provinces have limited the fans and, you know, so in the hockey that is for them. But, you know, so that's, uh, they're de we're dealing through it. But hockey, as of this morning, 90 postponements so far. We were back on the ice last night. My Sabres are going tonight with some new faces in it. So that'll be interesting to say. Then I did a an, an LP vinyl, my top... Uh, it was uh, videos 170 or albums 176 or 250, and then I did a review and a countdown of the top 10 from 
those, which will be added on to the next one. In the end, all of the top tens will go together for a grand finale. I did uh, a couple Tower 3D Pros. My recent one was a real short one. It's called Memphis with Mods. And I got the modifications from a gentleman named Wildcard, which I appreciate it because it just makes it so much more realistic to zoom. You zoom in to see the aircraft. You see them on final and landing and take off real close, not far away like it was. So pretty cool. Check it out. And then uh, <clears throat> tomorrow, I'll be a, a guest on the Nickel City Mafia. They're doing, he's doing a uh, video on the Buffalo Sabres, top 25 of all time or your top 25 favorites. So I did my research. I got mine ready to go. I hope I surprised him a little bit. That's going to be going on at uh, live at 3 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. So if you're interested in hockey or you just want to join in on a live conversation, hit us up. That's Nickel City Mafia. And, uh, you know, give us your thoughts. January ideas. This is where I really need some remarks, you know, some help from what you guys want me to do. Like I said, the Inside Blitz football game will be continued with the video. And then uh, Field Napoleon Commander will be doing a video. 3D Tower 3D Pro. I'll be doing some full 30-minute videos with the new mod. And then I'm going to be doing some top 21, 2021 games. These are games that I played in 2021. There'll be various subjects. There'll be sports, war, and just regular gaming. Uh, so watch for them. I'm in development of the uh, war one right now. <clears throat> okay. Getting down here to personal. Christmas was good for me. I had my daughter and her family and a friend over on Christmas morning for our traditional Christmas gifts exchange. And then... My son-in-law dr drove us all down to Temecula where I got to see my son and his family uh, the first time in their house in over two years. I'm really happy for that, uh, <clears throat> that we got to do that. My health, I'm doing fine. I'm having periodic my VA routine checkups. I haven't had any more dizzy spells, so the pacemaker must be working fine. About another month, I'm going to probably try to drive again. We'll see how that goes and how I feel. And my sports. Okay, you know, my major sports. Major League Baseball, we know that's in a, uh, a lockdown because of the uh, CBA. I hope they get that resolved soon so the players and the teams can start organizing because normally pitchers and catchers start the end of February. So it's not that far away. So I hope that they get this nailed down. The NBA, it's COVID is raising a little bit of havoc with that. I do like the fact that they uh, approved that for every two guys you got out in COVID, you can sign a replacement player for 10 days uh, to help fill your, your lineups. The uh, National Hockey League, like I just said, there's 90 games postponed already. Ah, my goodness. They're going to use something. They're not going to the Olympics this year, so they're going to use some of that time to make up some of these postponements. However, some of the problem that some of the teams have is that they scheduled other events in their arenas thinking that the, the arena would be free because everybody going to the Olympics. So they're trying to work around that. And we got the NFL. COVID hitting them pretty good. I, uh, you know, it's sad to see a couple of teams that have had to play with their third and fourth string quarterbacks because of COVID. But they played. That was the big thing. And I just say this morning that the, the NFL has <clears throat> changed their COVID protocol from 10 days down to five days, as long as they can pass some tests in that. I personally am not a fan of that. <clears throat> okay, it's been 10 days ever since COVID started. It sounds to me like they're, they just want to get games in and make some money. But who am I? Then the uh, college bowl season is here, and we are – have had, there have been some really good games going on, and some games have been affected by COVID and actually canceled. And that's a shame because, especially for the seniors, they look so forward to go, getting to a bowl game in, in their last year and playing in a bowl game. So, you know, that was too bad for them. We had the big uh, semifinal matchups for the national championship on Friday, December 31st, Cincinnati and, and Alabama, 
in Michigan and Georgia. Should be interesting. You know, uh, we'll see what happens on there. I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be Alabama winning and maybe Michigan's going to pull an upset over Georgia. Well, we'll see. So, that's it for 19 December 2021. Please go down there and hit that like button and subscribe. Leave me, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the channel and push it out there in your social media channel so that we can get a little bit more growth. You know, funny things happen. You know, we've been up to 395 six times now. It's gone 395 back to 394, 395 to 394. So that's funny. I, I don't know why that happens, but it does. So, so be it. So everybody have a happy and safe new year till you hear or see from me again. Stop by, check out Nickel City Mafia tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay safe.